Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's gonna be making her old-fashioned graham cracker dessert for y'all today. And uh, she said she used to have this when she was a little kid, but yeah. so it's a really old-fashioned recipe, but I'll let her walk you through it and show you everything that you'll need. Yeah, mom uh, used to make us a treat. You know, you couldn't go to the store every day, so she made us a graham cracker treat, a dessert, she called it. So, uh, and all you need is graham crackers, you need uh, vanilla extract, you need canned milk, you need peanut butter, you need uh, cocoa or baking powder, what they got, or baking cocoa, and powdered sugar. And here's what she done. That, that's the sweets. We didn't have all kinds of sweets unless mom made them. So you just take a little bit of your uh, powdered sugar. You don't take a whole lot. And it's just eyeballing stuff too. I'm gonna put two tablespoons for or you know you just eyeball and then you put a little bit of your cocoa in it just whatever you like and uh this is uh and i'm just gonna put a little bit in it just enough to kind of make it chocolate so stir it around in here and it's gonna be like a light chocolate because it's not the dark chocolate. And then we're going to put a little bit of vanilla flavor in it. Oh, I forgot. This is one that ain't been open. And my mom's getting weak nowadays. They put them on tight. I don't know if I'm gonna need to put down the camera or not. I could feel it ripping, but. There it is. There it is. So uh, she just done it like this. That's where I get my eyeballing from. She just put a little tiny bit in there. Then she put a little bit of peanut butter in it. Just a little bit. I probably should have stirred it up before I put the peanut butter in it, but I done done that. And you put your milk in it. That's all it calls for. You put a little bit of milk. You stir it up. Until it gets. And she used to put this on our graham crackers. And uh, that's the, we had, dad would make candy and it's in the shorts or whatever you call them, his videos. Now, if you but, look at the playlist, it says my mom all secret recipes. Y'all find the old fashioned fudge candy or peanut butter candy that my mom was just telling y'all about. Yeah, it's the kind you make on the stove and it takes forever, you know. But it was good. You put a little bit more of this, just a drop. So I'll be able to spread it on my graham cracker. And we had a lot of these now. Real simple, real easy. Anybody likes chocolate and peanut butter, they would love this. So you just put a dab of everything. She used to take the graham crackers and she would spread them on our graham crackers. And they was four of us. I had three brothers. And I was the only girl. But I wasn't a tomboy either. <laughs> a lot of people said when they got all brothers or tomboys, they climb trees and everything. Now I did used to uh, swing on grapevines until I got hurt. Then I said, that's it for me. And you put this on it like that. And there's like a candy bar. And we would just eat it. And it is good. Try it and you'll see. It's old-fashioned graham cracker dessert. Mm-hmm. That's all you do. Simple and easy. The grandkids come over, somebody. You don't have no sweets. That's what you can pull together. About everybody got this stuff in their uh, kitchen. Maybe not the graham crackers, but they have pretty much everything. So, that's it. Oh, it's a... Not too difficult. It's not like a really simple one, but it's not too difficult either. It's just as long as you got these few ingredients, you can make it. Yeah. 
So I can just eat it out of this. <laughs> well, it's just like a chocolate in there. Just like a chocolate. She can just eat it like this if you want to. Now, Corey's mother, that's what she would do. She just eat it like that. Yeah, it's like a chocolate icing almost. Yeah. It'd be good to even put on cakes. So we have made it. Mom has made it and put on cakes before. So that's our uh, recipe for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let, let us know in the comments if y'all have made this before, if y'all had this whenever y'all's kids, or yeah. if it's the uh, first time you ever seen it, or if you plan to make it. And uh, I'm going to show the gifts today, and then Mama's going to get her Bible verses ready. she got a few Bible verses she's going to read for y'all, a few scriptures. And she's already got it ready. She's just got to clean off the spot here while I'm yeah. uh, showing this. And this is the gifts that we got for the past probably two weeks. We've just been building it up for probably two weeks now, and uh, we're going to show it on this video like we did in the old videos. Here's a personal letter that somebody sent, and it's two pictures. I don't know if this is their cabin or their house, but they got a really old, uh, old-timey wood stove. It's like yeah, a... Yeah, back in the woods. Yeah. It's a cook stove, but it's a wood stove, too, I think. She said they have coyotes and bears and stuff, too, and uh, uh, we have bears, I think she said bears. I know she said coyotes. We have coyotes too. I got a few big bucks on the wall. Yeah. That's why I was telling her that Milton had a, a deer on the wall too. Yeah, there's a couple of them there. Here's Pawpaws. Let's see if I could zoom it into it. There's Pawpaws been there since before I was born probably. As long as I can remember it's yeah. been there. But that's Pawpaws deer head. And then there's uh, these two cookbook. It says, I love my air fryer. And this, these are uh, air fryer recipes, 100 plus recipes for a weeknight ease. So these are two books for uh, air fryer recipes. And we'll definitely be using these for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pick a bunch of things out of here and we'll make them for y'all. So thank you so much for these. It will come in handy. Yeah, and these are uh, two separate people. These was uh, separate packages. But they're the parchment paper that goes in the bottom of the air fryer. That way you won't have to clean it every single time. You could just take this out and it'll be clean. So you won't have to wash it every single time you use it. And here's a whole bunch more. And this one came with like a little brush in it. But I think they might have like 100 each. I'm not for sure, but it looks probably like 100. It's a big old stack. Both of them got a big stack in there. Thank y'all so much for these. We'll definitely use yeah. these, and these will come in handy for sure. Yeah, that's right. It'll save us a lot of work. And uh, somebody sent this. It says, large print Bible word finds. My mom loved these. Ever since I was a little kid, we would always sit down and uh, do these word puzzles together and call her in books, and she still does it today. And then it, it come with uh, stamps. I think this is 20 stamps. So thank y'all so much for this. Anybody who uh, sends a letter to Mama, she'll send a letter back. Oh. And uh, so she uses a lot of stamps for uh, anybody who sends a letter. And uh, if y'all want to send a letter, make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so that way Mama can read it so she can send you a card back. Yeah. Yeah, I always answer the letters if I can read your address. And some of the gifts we get, we don't have the address in them. We don't know who sent them. You know, uh, I like to know who sent them to me. <laughs> yeah, so that way we can send something yeah, back. Yeah, so I can send something back to thank you, you know, for it. Uh, somebody sent these. I think these just came yesterday. There's three different ones. They're a vinegar glaze, and it says honey balsamic glaze, and it's from Greece. I can't pronounce this word, but it's something southern Greece. And then this one is rose balsamic glaze. And then this one is just a balsamic glaze. So this one is just uh, plain vinegar. Yeah, I'm anxious to try all three of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely try them. Next time we make like a fish or something, we'll try these on the yeah. fish here. It says it's good for meat or vegetables, so we'll try it on some vegetables too. Yeah. And then here's the letters. There's both of these letters came from the same person. And then there's this uh, personal letter. It came with this uh, apron that my mom's oh, wearing. Yeah. It's her new apron. Somebody sent her. It's got a little I chicken. I love aprons. It's a grandma chicken because it's got the glasses on <laughs> yeah. and the necklace. 
<laughs> it says, I'm no longer a spring chicken. I'm a seasoned hen. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm a seasoned hen. <laughs> it's got the pockets on there. Yep, it's got the pockets. So. Yeah, we've been making the aprons, and uh, me and Sharon's trying to learn how to put the pockets on. So I told her, uh, she said, I can't remember. I used to put pockets on. And I told her the way Mom used to do it, you know, when she sewed it on there, to put it on a sewing machine and how to get it off. And um, then she said, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. And so uh, we're making some more, uh, well, somebody sent me some material, and I got all my material cut out, and I took it down there, and she's uh, sewing them for me. And, uh, and here pretty soon, we'll have a cookbook, but we'll have to uh, figure out how to um, get it to y'all. You know, how to mail them out, how, how to get the payments and stuff for it. See, we're new at all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, the lady called me today, and she said that, that I run off the wrong proof. And I'm not used to a computer. I work on it, but I'm not really that smart. So she's going to meet me Tuesday and make the final proof, and then uh, she'll make up our books, and it, she said it won't take no time. So it should be next week or two. Yeah, and the cookbooks, we're not exactly sure about how to go about uh, selling it or whatnot because yeah. we can't sell it on the merch shop. But we did finally get our merch shop set up. And uh, all you got to do is click the link. It should be, here's the subscribe button right above that. One button above that is a little link. And you press that and it'll take you to our merch shop. And it's we only got a few things up right now, but we'll be putting a bunch more stuff on there soon. Right now it's just a hoodie, a t-shirt, and a... Uh, mug yeah a mug and a beanie and a long sleeve shirt and it was spelled wrong but we have we fixed that already i fixed that last night to where it's spelled correctly now and uh i found aprons on there too so we'll be uh putting a uh, mama's aprons up on the merch shop uh soon yeah. we'll have a special design mama's design on there and we'll make different designs for different aprons that way you can pick which one y'all like yeah y'all make sure to check it out our merch shop means yeah. a lot to us and if y'all have some kind of design you think we should put on it just let us know yeah anything y'all wanted to see on the merch just let us know we'll try our best to put it on there for y'all and uh anyways i forgot to say uh, thank you so much for this apron yeah, i love it it's the same <laughs> lady who uh, sends us stuff all the time she yeah. sent the air fryer and she just sends milk all the time she just sends us all kinds of stuff so we yeah. we really appreciate everything you do for us and we appreciate everything that all of y'all do for yeah. us your no letters matter. and all. I love letters. I love getting letters, too. Yeah, or even yeah. just a simple comment or yeah. anything y'all do for us. It means so much to yeah, us. Yeah, we appreciate everything you do. Uh, and we love y'all. But here's the last two cards. There's a, this one. It's a personal letter. And then this one says, sending you smiles. And those are the last cards. Here's the P.O. box for any new viewers, new subscribers, people that's requested it. Or anybody who hasn't seen it yet if y'all want to send something we'll show it here on the table like this and we'll you'll see mama using the gifts in the video but you can uh picture it and pause it write it down whatever y'all want to do and on the back is the paypal and the cash app this is just for people that's requested us to make this in the comments or any new viewers or new subscribers that hasn't seen it yet and you can picture it pause it write it down whatever y'all want to do with it but uh, Mama's got a few scriptures for you now. But what was you going to say? I accidentally interrupted her. Uh, it's okay. Uh, uh, I was going to tell them that they need to go back and check their uh, subscribing because so, some, some people's had theirs taken off. And uh, they uh, have to go back and check and see if they're still subscribed to this channel. Yeah, so make sure to double check if y'all still subscribed because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people. So yeah. it would mean a lot to us if y'all double check it and make sure y'all still subscribe. Yeah. And we love y'all. Yes, we do. We, we appreciate everything y'all do for us, all your comments, your kind words. Y'all just so good, you know. And I thank you for it. And I had a lot of people uh, commented on our, our church service, too. It was real good. Jerry done a real good job on it, you know. So um, we might be doing that some, too. So it's just, just according, you know. Cause he don't care for us uh, uh, filming. So we might be taking you to church with us, as y'all say. Yeah. <laughs> so that I'm going to be reading in Jeremiah today, and it's called The Potter and the Clay. And we know who the potter is, and we know who the clay is, don't we? The potter is Jesus Christ, and the clay is us. So when we uh, first get saved, you know, we have to be molded and uh, uh, grow in the Word. You know, we're just young babes, just like babies when they, uh, they're born. 
they have to grow too in things, to talk, to crawl, to walk, whatever, you know. That's the way young Christians are. They have to be taught, you know. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be uh, teaching on the potter and the clay today. So it's in uh, Jeremiah 18. It says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought, wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? saith the Lord, Behold, as the day is in the potter's hand, so are you in mine, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning the nation and concerning the kingdom, to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning the nation and concerning the kingdom, to build and to plant it. If it do evil in my sight, then it obey not my voice. Then I will repent of the good, wherewith I said I wondered I would benefit them. Now therefore go to speak to the man of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you and devise a device against you. Return ye now every one from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings good. And they said, There is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices, and we will every one do the imagination of his evil heart. Isn't that awful? And it says, and a lot of wicked people, that's what they do. They say, You can't tell me nothing, I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, go on, but you're going to pay the penalty after a while. It says, and they said there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices, and we will envy, and we will every one do the imagination of his evil heart. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, ask ye now among the heathen, who hath heard such things? The virgin of Israel hath done a very horrible thing. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock of the field, or shall the cold flowering waters flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken forsaken because my people have forgotten me they have burned incense to vanity and they have caused them to stumble in their ways you know that's a fearful thing is to turn a, a christian away from god and that will be blood on your hands if you ever do that you know it says they have burned incense to vanity and they have caused them to stumble you know, a lot of people out there, a lot of Christian people now will cause young Christians to stumble. Well, and they need to uphold them and hold them up and teach them, you know, God's word because they're young. It says, in their ways from the ancient paths, to walk in paths in a way not cast up, to make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passeth thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them back. I will show them back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a, a fearful thing if you try to try, turn a young Christian away from God or, or just uh, do something to make them turn away from God, say something, you know, to them. Young Christians need to be taught, you know, and the elders are supposed to teach the uh, younger Christians and the women is supposed to teach the younger Christian women, you know, how to walk, how to take care of your house, uh, how to put God first, you know, they have to be taught uh, just like a young baby has to be taught. But here's a commentary in this. It says, as the potter molded a shape, molded or shaped a clay pot on the potter's wheel, defects would often appear. The potter had power over the clay to permit the defects to remind or to to remain or to reshape the pot uh, likewise god had power to reshape the nation to conform to his purpose uh, on our strategy should not be to become mindless and passive one aspect of clay but to be willing and receptive to god's impact on us as we yield to god 
he begins reshaping us into valuable vessels to be used for his purpose. See, he is molding us and he is shaping us. When we get in his word and we uh, read his word and try to hide it within our hearts, when we go to church and we listen to the preachers and we listen to good gospel singing or uh, preachers on TV or on, on uh, the Facebook or, or whatever, you know, uh, God honors that, that you will grow. The more you uh, go to church, the more you listen to the preachers, the more that you stay in this word, you are being uh, shaped and God's purpose. So he's got a purpose for all of us to do, you know, just like us coming on YouTube, that's a purpose, you know. He wants us to witness to the world that he is coming back soon, and he is. And we need to teach young, the young Christians to grow in the Lord and to be ready and prepared when he comes back. I love y'all. I thank you for listening to us and watching our YouTube. Y'all are such a joy to us. Uh, you just bless our heart. Uh, but, uh, you know, we have tough times and we struggle through a lot of things, you know, but if we know the Lord, he's right there with us and he walks right with us. And he takes care of every situation that may come our way. No matter how bad it is, he helps us through them, you know. And I'm going to pray for you right now. And uh, we just pray one for another to t for God to take care of us and bring us through any trial that we may go through, you know. So, uh, dear Lord Jesus, I just come to you this evening, Lord Jesus, praising you and loving you, Lord. Lord, I just thank you for always being with us, Lord, for walking us through the trials that we have to go through, Lord, for helping us to be ready to meet you, Lord. I just ask you, Lord, to touch each one out there, Lord, each one of our YouTube families, Lord Jesus. Lord, you see the need that they have today, Lord Jesus. Lord, asking you to wrap your arms around them, Lord Jesus, and show them that you love them, Lord, and help them through each situation, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord. We just thank you, and we love you, and we praise you, Lord. Have your way in all things, Lord. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all read your word and talk to the Lord. He'll help you through any situation you go through. Well, amen. So, we love you, and we'll see you the next time. Well, that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. We love y'all, like Mama said. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Amen.